just wanted to say that uh, my show, uh, when I decided to, to try to get into cabaret, uh, I, I chose Barry Kleinbord to help me. And, um, and we chose Paul Greenwood to help me. Without these two men, I never would have been able to do this. And Barry said to me, what do you want to say? And I said, well, I'll say anything you want me to say. <laughs> and then I thought, well, what, what I'm really trying to do is talk about how we're all hurtling towards the howling void of mortality. So I talk about that, and I talk about, uh, you know, about I embrace my age because the internet tells everything. <laughs> You, you can't hide your age, you know. It's all over. The first thing they say is, is your name and your birth date. And sometimes they'll say who your mother and father was. And uh, I really I get very upset with the Internet giving out so much information. <laughs> and, um, I mean, but, I, you know, I don't need the Internet to tell me uh, I'm, I'm getting older. I really don't. Now, in, in the 60s, I, I tattooed this little butterfly on my ass, and, and that thing is now looking like a condor. So, I know, I know I'm getting older, and the damn internet should, doesn't have to tell me. Um, but the message that I, I, I give in my show about, you know, showing up every day and hanging in there and, you know, and do it while you can, all those messages. The strongest message I got for that was from, um, and I do a lot of different characters in my play, too, in my show, um, was from a character I met when I was oh, out of work. And I mean, I don't think there's any place that's worse to be out of work than Los Angeles? I mean, when you, when you go out of your door, you have to have a destination. And I had done a lot of series that flopped, and I, I found my, and my kids were, were away at school, and uh, I found, I couldn't get a job. I really couldn't, and somebody said to me, uh, honey, why don't you, well, it was, it was uh, Rue McClanahan's, one of her seven husbands. So. <laughs> he was in the real estate business, and he said, honey, why don't you go into real estate? And so it was so bad that I, I did. So I, I just bought, he put me into this, um, this CD uh, building in a run, I mean, a rundown building in a seedy part of, of Hollywood near Paramount Studios. And I became a slumlord. <laughs> a, a job at which I was terrible. I really was, I could never collect the rents. Um, I was always just too, when I would go there, I felt so sorry for everybody. I never collected any rents at all. And, and but there was this one woman who, whose name was Virginia. And Every time I came there, she would open her door where everybody else was slamming it. She was an osteoarthritic person. No, no teeth. Her, she was balding, and she had a little cat named Dolly. And that Dolly would stay under the bed, you know. She, she'd come to the door, and she had this lovely little twinkle in her eye. And she said, she would say, oh, oh, look, Dolly, Dolly, look who's here. It's our little landlady. Come on in. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, Dolly, come on out and see the little, oh, she's not going to come out. She just likes a chicken the light man. She's never going to come out for you. <laughs> so, no, no, uh, listen, I know why you're here, right? You're, you're here to collect the rent, aren't you? Well, I gotta tell you something, I ain't got it. But listen, what I do have is a little advice for you. It's free, free advice. Don't postpone joy. 
I said, excuse me, Virginia, what did you say? She said, don't postpone joy. I said, I'm sorry, Virginia, I really didn't under She said, don't postpone joy. I know it, Dolly knows it, even the chicken, the white man knows it. Don't postpone joy. And that's what I have to say to all of you, too. Because in the final analysis, after all, life is just a bowl of cherries. Don't take it serious. It's too mysterious. You work, you sleep, you worry so. But you can't take your dough when you go, go, go. Keep repeating, it's the berries. The strongest hope must fall. The sweet things in life to you are just loaned. So how can you lose what you've never owned?